the exercise here, the content pillar exercise is really important because what it's going to do uh, is it's going to ask you some questions so that you can come to a very clear understanding on what value you bring potential customers in terms of the business that you provide, uh, as well as what values and beliefs you hold as a business owner. Both are really important when it comes to your content because one shows people what they'll get when they work with you. The other shows people who you are and why they should work with you. So the first section here is the business section. And the first question we've got here is, what are the three biggest pains or problems that your clients have related to what you do? So for my business, for example, I uh, the biggest challenge is that most business owners have when they work with me is that they're charging too little for their services. Um, they have low to no awareness of their brand and they lack predictable leads and sales, right? So the next question is, what are the three biggest dreams that your clients have related to each pain or problem? So here's the thing to remember. The dream is usually the exact opposite of what the problem was. So if they're charging too little for their services, their dream is that um, they are price premium. Um, if they have little to no awareness of their brand, the dream is that they become the authority in their market. And if the uh, problem is that they lack predictable leads and sales, what they dream of or what they want is generating uh, predictable leads and high converting sales. Now the last question here is, what is the ultimate promise that you give people when they work with you? And this is usually a culmination or a combination of all of these things that you've indicated here. So when somebody is premium priced, they're the authority in their market and they're generating predictable leads and high converting sales, um, the promise I give them is they win more business. Okay, so I want you to do the same thing with your brand and to answer these questions. Now, you'll notice here that uh, a few of these fields are highlighted in red. That basically means that these fields are mapped to the content strategy framework page. So when you input the information here, it's going to automatically populate on that page. And I'll show you that in uh, the content strategy framework video. Okay, now we're moving on to personal. So um, what I want you to think about is what were the happiest defining moments of your life and business? So for me, it might have been the birth of my child. Uh, it would be all of the travels that I've had all around the world. Every time I've done an adventure like swam with sharks or snowboard um, or boarded down an active volcano or spelunked 16 stories underground, um, those all lit me up. Um, you know, my friends and my family and the moments that we have together uh, all of those types of things might be examples of happy defining moments in my life and business. The next question is, what were the hardest defining moments of your life and business? So these are specific instances in both cases. Um, so here uh, it might be um, the hardest moment was when I stood up in front of uh, a a um, boat full of people and tried to public speak for the first time and I failed. Uh, it would be the death of my ex-husband um, and the moment that I became a full-time single mom. Um, you know, so there's going to be certain defining moments that really stand out as pivotal in your life and business. Uh, the next question is what are the greatest lessons that have emerged from these highs, uh, high and low moments? So for me, um, you know, the lesson is to always be looking for your next adventure, to travel as much as you can, um, to be okay with getting out of your comfort zone, um, to surround yourself with friends and family, and um, to sound, surround yourselves with your chosen family, which are uh, really your friends. Invest time in them. Um, to, uh, you know, change your perspective in life that instead of being a victim of things, that um, things are happening for you in life. So those might be some lessons that emerge. And you're going to have a big, long list of lessons as you think about this. So the next question is, when you look at these lessons, what are the top three values that guide you 
in your business. So for me, if I look at those life lessons, you know, when I think about the adventures that I've, that I've had and the travels, really what I'm trying to do here is to take the road less traveled and be okay with it. And the road less traveled are the um, things that are really, really important to me. So being firm in what lights me up and being okay taking the road less traveled would be one uh, guiding value. Another one might be um, to tinker, you know, and to be okay trying new things and experimenting in life to find the things that light you up. Uh, and I do this a lot in business. I launched a podcast. I, you know, created one of the world's first Twitter communities. Um, I got started on TikTok very, very early. I've done things and pushed myself out of my comfort zone to tinker and try new things because nothing will help me learn what I really love and nothing will teach me greater lessons in business than to just go out there and try it. So those would be example of, uh, examples of values. And I want you to be thinking about what are your top three values. And again, you'll see that these are in red. These are mapped to the main content strategy framework page.